This little video is about the difference between being descriptive and judgmental and why we really want to work on being descriptive. Description means an action that if I said to you, do this, you could just immediately do it without thinking even what on earth does she mean. For example, if I said, uh, put the dishes in the dishwasher, piece of cake, no problem. A judgment is my opinion, my analysis, what I think about it. I may be right, but if it's a negative judgment, whoa, is it a push? In fact, it can lead to a really nasty outcome. For example, you're driving down the uh, road and someone says to you, you're driving too fast, Boom, push. If you're not in an emotionally healthy place, mm, you might be saying back, oh, no, I'm not driving too fast. <laughs> One person I know was telling me a, a really dysfunctional thing. Someone said, I'm not driving too fast. Do you think that's fast? Watch this. Mm. So we don't want to push. Push leads to pushback and not happy relationships. Instead, if I can be descriptive, like I might say, um, the speed limit is posted 40 here and uh, they tend to ticket. Oh, thanks, that's very helpful to know. It can lead to a whole different outcome. Now, let's say if I want um, my dear one to come help me in the kitchen. If I say, uh, you're so lazy, you're just sitting on the couch all the time. Well, guess what kind of evening we're gonna have. On the other hand, if I say, um, honey, would you mind putting the dishes in the dishwasher while I wash off the counters? and then we'll both have time to get our homework done before bedtime. Can you hear the difference? It's like I'm enlisting them in the team. You need to clean up this room. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you remember being a kid and maybe not so happy and all of a sudden everything went under the bed? So instead, calm tone of voice and saying, honey, I need you to take all the dirty clothes on the floor and put them in the hamper, all the clean clothes in your drawer and the dishes out into the kitchen sink and then we'll just relax together and have a really good evening watching your favorite movie or whatever positive consequence you want to come up with. So how to tell if it's a description or a judgment is um, simple, but a brand new thought for us. If you had five people sitting in front of you and you said, please do this, would they all be able to immediately do it and would, would it look pretty much the same? So if I said to someone, scratch your head, pretty easy. If I said, you're being cold to me, and I said, okay, five people act out being cold to me. They're all sitting there going, uh, and that's the secret, it's a judgment. If I said, um, when, I, when I put my arms around you to hug you, you don't hug me back. Act that out, easy. So um, if I want a behavior change, I've really gotta be descriptive and to take it to the other side for a compliment. If I said to my husband, oh Brad, you're so thoughtful. Well, it's nice to hear, but it doesn't tell him what specifically I liked, so he can do it again. On the other hand, if I say, honey, it is so awesome that every morning when I wake up, there's a cup of hot coffee waiting for me on my nightstand. Thank you. And he goes, ooh, she likes that. I will do that again. Behavior that's rewarded tends to be repeated. Being descriptive is a dramatic and powerful change for your communication, and even though it's one of the most challenging things we learn, it is surely worth the effort. Enjoy.